Welcome to Maths Companion. Today we are going to learn a new chapter statistics. We learned statistics in 8 and 9 standards. In 9 standard we learned mean. Mean is an average and mean is equal to sum of the scores divided by number of scores. For example, suppose the marks obtained by 3 students in a test paper is 8, 9 and 10. In order to find the mean, we have to add all these marks together and since there are 3 scores, we have to divide the sum by 3. That is, mean mark is 8 plus 9 plus 10 divided by 3. 8 plus 9 is 17, 17 plus 10 is 27. So we can write this as 27 by 3 or 9. That is, the mean mark is 9. Now let us take another example. The monthly incomes of 10 households in a neighborhood are these 16,500, 21,700, 18,600, 21,050, 19,500, 17,000, 21,000, 18,000, 22,000 and 17,500. What is the mean monthly income? There are 10 households. In order to find the mean, first of all we have to add all these scores together and since there are 10 households, we have to divide the sum by 10. That is, mean is equal to sum of all these scores divided by 10. When we add all these together, we get 192,850. It should be divided by 10 and we get 19,285. That is, the mean is 19,285. Now, instead of taking all these incomes separately, we had only the mean. Then also we make some conclusions about the general economic status of the households. That is, the monthly incomes of all the households are around 19,285 rupees. None of the households has a monthly income very much greater or very much less than 19,285 rupees. The number of households with monthly income greater than 19,285 rupees is more or less equal to the number of households with monthly income less than 19,285 rupees. Now suppose someone with a monthly income 1,75,000 rupees comes to live in the neighborhood. What is the mean monthly income? To find the mean monthly income, we have to add all the 11 incomes together. And since there are 11 households now, we have to divide the sum by 11. We have already seen that sum of the 10 households is 1,92,850. And the 11th household has an income of 1,75,000. Let us add it together and divide it by 11. Adding together we get 3,67,850 and when we divide it by 11 we get 33,441. That is the mean of 11 households is 33,441 rupees. Without giving all these details, if this mean is only given, wouldn't we make the wrong conclusion that all these households have a monthly income around 33,441 rupees. This is almost one and a half times the monthly income of 10 of these households. The purpose of calculating the mean is to reduce a whole collection of numbers to a single number which gives a general understanding of a situation. But numbers in the collection which is very much less or very much more than others affect the mean a lot. In our example, it was a single number very much larger than the first 10, which changed the mean so much. Let us see how we can compute another average, which gives a better overall indication of the monthly incomes of all the 11 households. If we write all the incomes in increasing order and take the middle number, 5 of the households would have income less than this and 5 of them would have more. Here the middle number is 19,500. It is called the median. That is 
the median monthly income of the 11 households is 19,500 rupees. We can understand like this. Of all the 11 households, 5 have monthly income less than 19,500 rupees and 5 have more than 19,500 rupees. That is, the number of households with income less than the median and the number of households with income more than the median are equal. What if we take only the first 10 households? If we write the incomes in the increasing order, there would be two numbers at the middle, that is 18,600 and 19,500. Here also, we must choose the median such that the number of items below it and above it are equal. So we take half the sum of the middle two numbers as median, that is median is equal to 18,600 plus 19,500 divided by 2. That is, median is equal to 18,600 plus 19,500 divided by 2. Adding these two together, we get 38,100. When it is divided by 2, we get 19,050. That is, the median of 10 households is 19,050. The median income of 10 households is 19,050 rupees and the mean income is 19,285 rupees. Both these give a reasonable estimate of the economic status of the first 10 households. And there is no great difference between the median and the mean. Here, the high income of the 11th household does not change the median much. So, in order to find the median, first of all, we have to write the scores in increasing order. If the number of scores is odd, there is one number at the middle which is the median. If the number of scores is even, then there are two numbers at the middle. Half the sum of these two numbers is the median. Median gives a more clear understanding of a situation. Even when some numbers in a collection is very much less or more than others. Now let us do some problems. First problem. The distance covered by an athlete in long jump practice are 6 6.10, 6.20, 6.18, 6.20, 6.25, 6.21, 6.15, 6.10 in meters. Find the mean and median. Why is it that there is not much difference between these? Let us find the mean at first. How many scores are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 scores. To find the mean, we have to add all these 8 scores. And since the number of scores is 8, we have to divide the sum by 8. So let us find mean. When we add all these scores together, we get 49.39. And it should be divided by 8. And we get 6.17 meters. That is, the mean of these scores are 6.17 meters. Now let us find the median. For that we have to write the scores in increasing order. Which is the smallest score? 6.10. It repeats two times. Then comes 6.15. After that 6.18. Then 6.20. Again 6.20. 6.21. And 6.25. There are 8 scores, so there will be 2 scores at the middle. Which are the 2 scores at the middle? 6.18 and 6.20. To find the median, let us add these scores together and divide it by 2. That is, median is 6.18 plus 6.20 divided by 2. 6.18 plus 6.20 is 12.38. And when it is divided by 2, we get 6.19. That is, median is 6.19 meters. Mean is 6.17, median is 6.19. There is not much difference between mean and median. Because there is no score which is very much less or very much more than the other scores. Second problem. The table below gives the rainfall during one week of September 2015 in various districts of Kerala. Calculate the mean and median rainfall in Kerala during this week. Why is the mean less than median? There are 14 scores. 
To find the mean, we have to add all these 14 scores and the sum should be divided by 14. Adding all these together, we get 700 and when 700 is divided by 14, we get 50. That is, mean rainfall is 50. Now let us find median. In order to find the median, we have to arrange all these scores in increasing order. Which is the smallest score? It is 13.5. Then comes 20.5, then 30.5, 33.5, 45.5, 50.5, 60.5, 70.5, 80.5, 90.5, 100.5, 56.9 again, then 66.7, 70.6, 6, 89.0. There are 14 scores, therefore there are 2 scores at the middle. Which are the 2 scores at the middle? 53.4 and 56.3. Therefore the median is 53.4 plus 56.3 divided by 2. 53.4 plus 56.3 is 109.7. So the median is 109.7 by 2 and that is equal to 54.85. There are 14 scores and 6 scores are in between 50 and 60. Of the remaining 8 scores, 5 are less than 50 and 3 are more than 50. Since more scores are smaller, mean is lesser than Media. Next problem. Prove that for a set of numbers in arithmetic sequence, the mean and median are equal. We know for an arithmetic sequence, if the number of terms is odd, then sum of the terms divided by number of terms equal to middle term. Sum of the terms divided by number of terms is mean and middle term is the median. Therefore, we can say mean equal to median when number of terms of an arithmetic sequence is odd. Now, when the number of terms of an arithmetic sequence is even, the sum of the first and last terms is equal to sum of the second and second from last and so on. So, if there are n terms, there will be n by 2 pairs whose sums are equal. When the sum of the terms is divided by half the number of terms, we get sum of the two middle terms. Therefore, if we divide sum of the terms by number of terms, we will get half the sum of the middle two terms. Sum of the terms divided by number of terms is mean and half the sum of the middle two terms is the median when number of terms is even. That means mean and median are equal when number of terms of an arithmetic sequence is even. Therefore, we can say for an arithmetic sequence, mean and median are always equal. We shall discuss the remaining part in the next video. Till then, bye.